Hello, this is Mr. Zanoletto. I'm going to go over some angle arc relationships in circles. We have five basic um, formulas. I like the first one is you've been talk, told about this on day one of this unit. Central measure of the angle will equal the arc measure. In other words, if I look at this arc, and I knew that this angle was 80 degrees, I'd also know the arc measure is 80 degrees. It's that simple. On the other hand, if I was told that this arc was 130 degrees, the angle is 130 degrees. So that's pretty simple. Those two are obviously correct. Now it gets a little more complicated inscribed angles. The measure of the angle itself is equal to half the arc. So, if I was told that this arc was 96 degrees, I would know that the angle, inscribed angle, that intercepts that is 48 degrees. It's half of it. So I take half of it going from arc to angle. On the other hand, if I was given the angle measure and I was looking for the arc here, if I was given the angle being 78 degrees, I know the arc, I mean the angle, sorry, the arc measure is going to be twice that's going to be 156 degrees. It's going to be 156 degrees. With the same idea with the vertex being on the circle, you can have a tangent line. If this was a tangent, and you have an intercepted arc here, if we were told that one or the other, if I was told that this was 144 degrees, this arc, this arc is 144 degrees, then I know this angle is half of that, 72 degrees. So that's a possibility set using this measure of one half arc. It's all about the vertex being on the circle. Flipping over to the other side, I have some examples here. If the it's outside, if it's outside. This should be if it's outside. We're going to take the difference. So if you got one of the original mistake here, the vertex. If it's outside, it should be the difference of the two measures meaning that the measure of the angle will equal one half the difference, the larger arc minus the smaller arc. So with that in mind, if they gave me these two arc measures, if they gave me this to be 20 and this to be 80, let's write those in. If this is 80 and this is 20, then I take the difference and take half of it. 80 minus 20 is 60, half of that. That means that this angle must be 30 degrees. We also could be given one of the arcs and the angle. If the angle here was 52 degrees, and I knew that this was 132 degrees, if I want to find that inside one, I go ahead and force it into this. This is the larger arc. So I'm going to say 52 is equal to half of 132 minus x. Double both sides, and that gets rid of the half. You get 104 equals 132 minus x. Bring the x over to this side, subtract 104, and you should get 28 degrees. And you can write that out if you wish. Stop and do that. But that's going to be 104, you get 28, add x to both sides, you get x equals 28. Now, vertex in, if the vertex is inside the circle, we have a measure of the angle will equal one half the sum of the two arcs, arc plus arc, the two intercepted arcs. So, if we have these as our intercepted arcs, and we were told one was 72 and one was 36. We add those together, we get 108. 
that's going to be 108. Half of that's 54. So that means this angle is 54 degrees, as well as this vertical angle is 54 degrees. So those two are both 54 degrees. If they gave us, just like earlier, if they gave us this being 100 and this being 65 degrees, what is this? Well, we do the same thing we did before. The angle measure is 65 degrees. We plug in one half, and that's going to be 100 plus x. Double it, you get 130 equals 100 plus x. Subtract 100 from both sides, and now we know this is 30 degrees. So we have all that going on. If it's outside, we defy, if we subtract. If it's inside of the vertex, vertex, we're talking about the vertex here. The vertex is inside, we add. The last thing I'd like to look at is quadrilaterals that are circumscribed. That means the vertices are on the circle. And we're going to look at, specifically, they say that the opposite angles are, so let's look at that. If we have opposite angles, we're going to talk about those. Those are the opposite angles. And we're being told those are supplementary. If they're supplementary, the opposite angles, opposite angles add up to one hundred and eighty degrees. So if they told me this was ninety, the supplement to that is ninety. These two now add up to one eighty. If they told me this was one oh four, these two add up to 180, that makes this 76. Here we also have, if this was 86, take that away from 180, we get 94. This is 94 degrees. Those are supplements to each other. And last, this is 104 degrees. Opposite one would have to make it supplement, add these up to 180, so that makes this 76 degrees. And those are the basic rules for angles and arcs. We have inside, Add the sum, add and take half. Outside, we subtract and take half. We know our um, supplementary and a quadrilateral that's circumscribed. And then we also have the typical central angles equal to the arc measure. And we have the one half measure of angle equals one half arc if the vertex is on the circle. If the vertex is on the circle. Thank you, and we will follow this up with a, some examples.